guys welcome back to the channel today we are going to be talking about organization and how you can bring that into your knitting and your yarn and your notions so let's get into it for me organization is actually a really hard thing for me to get down um not that i'm saying i don't have organization systems but i know sometimes talking about it and sharing with it about it can be very helpful i personally with my neurospicy adhd brain i will have organizational systems in place but it's not always something that stays in place so every so often i do have to like go back to it, look at what's working, look at what's not working, and reevaluate and then try again. So that leads me to why we are talking about it today at all, because I think talking about it and sharing my experiences might help somebody else maybe implement something they haven't tried before or even um, trying something new or um, even saying, it, yeah, that works for me, or giving other people more ideas. So that is where we are going to start, because it's so, so important to be organized, um, because without it, I honestly forget the yarn I have, what project bags I have, what projects I want to do, because my brain just kind of just forgets. It kind of goes in one ear, out the other. Um, <laughs> It's funny, my brother says that to me all the time when he's talking to me, I'll like space out, but that's a whole nother story. Um, so um, we're going to start off with the de a dedicated knitting space. That is probably one of the most important things you can have is like a dedicated knitting space. And what I mean by that is it's not just a place where you're going to sit and knit. It's basically, it's honestly two places, a place where you're going to keep your yarn stored and all that, and then where you're going to sit and knit. So for me, I have um, cubes. Um, I'll insert like a picture, like a sales picture over here. Um, I just recently got a new one, which I'm going to actually be putting together and organizing today. I have, I have currently have a four cube one. Now I have a six. So I'm hoping that it will not make everything so squished because that to me is not fun and it makes it harder to actually find my yarn. Um, so that I'm actually going to start doing today. Um, and I find that what I'm going to, my idea of what I want to do is organize yarn by like what type of project because I buy yarn based on like, I try to, based on like what I think I'm going to make out of it. Um, so I have like yarn for shawls, yarn for tops, and yarn for socks, which I have so much sock yarn. I really need to stop buying that, but that's a whole nother story. Um, so I'm going to be putting that together, um, today at some point, and if I have time, maybe I'll also put a picture in here where it ends up the final product looks like for me, um, and within that, I organize my needles and my notions, um, and I have, like, the little, little cube box thingies that you like pull in and out. I don't know what you call those, but um, in those I have um, my soaps, um, needles, crochet hooks, um, and then I found a new way I'm trying to store my notions, which I'm finding super helpful. Um, I'd recently bought this bag, if it stops being so washed out, um, and it honestly it stores just about anything I need. Right now I'm carrying a lot of sock stuff around, so like I've got got these in here, little circular stitch markers. I got this at Knit New Haven a couple weeks ago with some more like stitch markers and stuff. Um, I have like I have my clay polymer clay stitch markers. And I have other stitch markers. 
which I don't like those are for I got around Christmas time so I really basically have like stitch markers in here um, I have cro a crochet hook I carry on me um, and kind of like some like odds and ends that like may have that may either fall out of my fall out of my bags or something like that I usually just ca I carry this around with me or I have another one that I also carry around with me so it just depends on my mood which one I pick um, but this, this one I also keep in those cube things. Um, and I have a bigger bag of this where I keep my interchangeable needles. I forget what the shop name is and I will put it below like right here and I also link them below. Um, I love her bags. Um, I customized this to the one, to, to the, the size, um, I want like not size, but fabric I wanted inside. Uh, well, the other one's the inside, but this one I just picked the outside fabric. So I think it's really cute and pretty. Um, so that's what I'm doing with like more of my organiz organization stuff. I'm not sure if like that's coming across how I want it to, but that's basically what I do with my organization stuff with like the yarn and the extra notions and stuff like that. Uh, sock blockers are also in there. Like they're like kind of like skewed in the sides they fit there so it's kind of keeping them out of the way and in a one spot I think that's most important is keeping all of everything in like one spot so um next thing I'm trying with my organization is a notebook I have another notebook that I keep like all my odds and ends at odds and end notes in um but I want to learn just dedicated to knitting I just started filling this out the other day um this is from Archer and Olive um I got it I got this one I didn't really care what the size was but I purposely got this one because it had the mitts and the little knitting needles and the yarn ball on there so I figured it fit um I really want to keep track of like patterns I want to do, projects I want to do, um, I have two scrappy projects going right now, one jelly roll blanket and then I have like a scrappy, um, I forget what the pattern is, I don't know why I'm drawing a blank, but I have two scrappy blankets going right now and I want to like list them in the order I have in there, so I also have, I'm gonna have a dedicated page to that, and, um, hopefully that minimizes the, um, the distraction of trying to organize which yarn goes where. Um, the Jelly Roll is my um, row one mitt, like the minis, the 10, the 10, 10 gram minis. Um, so I definitely like want to make sure I'm putting those in in month order. I don't know why I want to do it that way, but the, to me that just makes the most sense. And um, that yeah, that's what's going to be in the notebook. Um, also, I'm going to try to do, I don't know if any of you guys follow Nitty Natty, but she does like her project plans through a notebook. I want to start doing that and I think I'm going to start doing it in July. So hopefully the next podcast I put up will, I'll be able to explain um, and show you guys what pages I actually put in here. And then the last organization tool I really use, and I find it so helpful, took me, I want to say like a majority of a Sunday, like a month ago, where I just took all my yarn out of the cubes, put it on my bed, and I went and scanned all of them into an app called Knit and Note. And I'll put like a little screen recording over here, what it looks like. Uh, it was so helpful. I got to organize it by dyer, by size, um, like size, like weight size. Um, so, so very helpful. Um, anyone who doesn't have it definitely should get it, especially if you have a lot of yarn like I do. Um, it's very helpful in the sense of knowing what you have, matching stuff if you're like, if you're not at home and you're at the yarn store and you want to make a project out of some a specific um, yarn combo like um, superwash merino nylon like that kind of thing you have like all the pictures it's so 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 helpful um, if you haven't downloaded it I 
like I said, highly encourage you to download it. It's so helpful, especially for me, who I often forget what colors I have in my stash already and how much sock yarn I have. It just serves as like a little reminder when I'm out that you, maybe I don't need that. So, um, but if you decide to implement at least any of these tips, at least try that one, especially um, if you have a lot of yarn, especially if you aren't a, someone who like looks at their yarn stash every day. I might have my yarn in cubes, but like I got the six cube to hopefully make it so my yarn's not squished and I can see it a little bit better. But if not, I still have the Knit and Note app where I have all of the colors that I have in there. When I get new colors, like I have a few colors I can add um, today actually, um, it, it just makes it helpful. So you kind of, you know, how much yardage you have, you know, how many grams you have and like what projects you can make out of it. But you're trying to do like project planning. Um, I might do a, another video on like how to project plan. If that's something you guys are interested in seeing how I project plan. Um, so let me know if you guys are interested in that. Um, but I just think organize however it works for you. For me, this is what I'm going to try to do and I will do a check in with you guys because I think I'm, I'm mostly like expanding what I have now to make it better for me and my brain. So make sure whatever organization system you decide to implement, you make sure it works for you. If any of these things work for you, I highly recommend doing it, whether it's getting a notebook, getting a little baggie for all the, the notions you have. Um, my notions might not fit in here forever, but um, for now that's what works for me. Um, get the cubes if you like the cubes. I've also seen some people like use like the over the door hangers, um, if you know what those are for like shoes. They put the yarn in there, um, which that's pretty cool. I never thought about doing that, but that's, I. That's probably for more if you have like a smaller-ish to medium stash, I would say, for something like that. But um, just remember, um, it's there's no one, no right way to do any of this. So just do what works for you, and I will see you guys. Mm -hmm.